What's up guys, Akers here bringing you another Cinema 4D tutorial and today we're going to be looking at how to export 3D text to Photoshop without a background so you don't have to go into Photoshop and select the magic wand tool and then select the background and then delete the background and then you get a rough edge around the text and then it don't look very clean and sharp so with this method it's really nice and simple to export to Photoshop to, to edit your 3D text with or whatever you feel necessary to do. So what I've got here, all I've got is a MoGraph text object with a red shiny material over it. I've just got a couple of lights just to make it look a bit sexier. So what we're going to do to export to Photoshop with no background is if we click on the render settings and we go to output we're going to select, I use the 720p HD preset, but if you're working with another file size, you can choose whatever size you want or whatever file size in Photoshop that you're working with. There's loads of different ones, but I'll just choose 720p because that's what I always work with. and It's widescreen and I think that works best. And within the frame range, you want to make sure that current frame is selected so that it will only render the one frame and then in save what you want to do is choose the destination of where you want to save it I'll just save it to my desktop so acres HD click save and under the format you want to select portable network graphics also known as PNG document so if we select that and then you want to make sure alpha channel is checked and what alpha channel will do it will only render the text itself it won't render anything in the background it will just leave all that blank ready for you to to import into photoshop so that looks good there anti-aliasing if you're working with reflections you can bump it up to best, minimum level, one by one, maximum level, two by two. If you're working with a high quality machine and it can deal with fast renders, you can maybe bump that up. But there's no need to worry about that too much unless you're dealing with a lot of reflections. So we don't really need to go into that too much today. Options, everything kind of seems, seems good. You don't really need to, to play around with that. And I've also got ambient inclusion on. And what ambient inclusion is, basically gives it some realistic shadows and and all that good stuff. So if you'd like to add ambient inclusion, all you have to do is select effect and it will be at the top here. It's not at the top now because I've already got it selected. But if you click effect, and then ambient inclusion will will be at the top there somewhere. So this looks pretty much ready to go. I just like to double check all my render settings before because sometimes it can be a lengthy process and we don't want to have to render and render and render over again. So in general make sure full renders on. Double check everything's where it's supposed to be, everything's the right format. And that looks pretty much ready to go. All we have to do now is render the document and you'll see now it will, it's just rendering it may take a little while depending on how fast your machine is if you're dealing with a lot of reflections or shadows it can take a while but this is just the one frame so I don't think it should take that long I think we're basically pretty much done here so cool there we go so if we go into Photoshop now and then we click file open and then we open the document that we've just saved and there we go we've got our text already cut out with no background we don't have to select anything can delete the background it's all there ready to go and you can add a new layer maybe a gradient And you can edit this text itself like you can do in any any other object in Photoshop. 
Got some nice drop shadow here. So yeah, that's pretty much it for today. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And make sure to leave your comment in the comment box below. Thanks for watching. Really appreciate it. See you later.